Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about template parameters in Azure Pipeline. All right, so parameters in Azure DevOps Pipeline is almost similar to the parameters that we pass in other programming languages or technology stack, but a few data types might differ. So let's look at all those one by one. So these are the um, popular data types that uh, that we will be regularly using in Azure DevOps Pipeline. So here are a few things. First one is string. Uh, next one will be a number. We have a boolean. We have something called an object. And we have something called step, step list, job, job list, deployment, deployment list, stage, stage list. Okay. So these are the list of data types that is allowed in a pipeline. But you know, um, for now, I will try to go through a few basics to make you understand how we can use the parameters in, in the Azure DevOps pipeline. And maybe in future, I will try to uh, you know, make a separate videos on all separate all data types and see how we can use that. All right. So now let's see a few basic examples about how to use uh, these parameters in Azure DevOps pipeline. All right. Let me go to my project. Let me create a new pipeline. and let me remove this so let me create a parameter uh, tab like let's say parameters all right so when we need to whenever we have to pass the parameters we have to use this option called parameters inside param inside parameters we have something which is mandatory it's the parameter name now you can call it as any name of your choice like say technology okay so I, i'm trying to pass few technology details here so i'm naming it as technology for now next one would be the type okay what is the type data type so it's a first one let's see how we can use a string and next we have an option called default this is an optional one but you can still pass it say i'm gonna use azure all right finally say so you can pass parameters for every uh step every stage every job and all but for now let's see how it works for steps alone so so i'll try to keep it very simple um just passing a script i'm just trying to print something let's call it as echo and now we have to call the parameters keyword dot the technology okay so this is how we have to pass a simple string parameter all right so let me save this let me save and run this okay save and run you can see the job is now running so my jobs are executing now if you go to command line you can see the azure got printed okay this is the one which you printed right echo azure so the azure got printed so this is a very a basic uh, this is how a string data type will work in azure pipeline okay now your pipeline is passed successfully if you have to run it again just try to run you can see you have uh, you have your parameter name here technology and you have the value called Azure here. Okay, we passed a single uh, value only, right? So just that's why it's just showing a single string here. And if I have to run it, I will run it again. Okay, so job will run as usual. And if I have to pass a multi-value string, all right. So if you, now we passed only one, right? What if you wanna pass a multi-value string? So now I'm gonna edit it again. So you, I'm going to use the same example, like we have a technology, we have type called string. You, if you want to have this default option also, you can have it, but uh, in, in, this is an optional one, right? So if, if, if I want to omit this also, I can do that. So values, I can give multiple values here. So let's say Azure and let me call it as DevOps. Okay. You can provide multiple values here for now. I'm just providing these two uh, values only. Let me save this and let me save and run this if i click on run 
you can see now i have two options here right so i have a parameter called technology and under technology i can use any of the parameter like i can either run with azure or either i can run with devops okay so you can select the uh, parameter option here and run it now if i run this let me wait for a moment my job is running um, so what's happening yeah now my job is running you can see the command line command line ran successfully so here it, it printed devops because i selected the second option devops right in case if you have selected the parameter azure azure would have been printed here okay this is a very simple way of passing a multi line string in your azure devops pipeline all right so we saw about string next we can see an example about how numbers work okay so let's take the same example okay let's take the same example i will try to edit the pipeline so here we have technology instead of string we can have number um if you want to have any default values also again as i said it is a optional one if you want to have a default value called three also you can have it like because i'm gonna pass few values numbers like one two um three three eight and four all right something like this so now if i save this let me save and run now you can see uh, i have a parameter called technology here where else three is the default option we have given right so three is selected by default but in case if you want to change it you can change it and run to okay so if i want to change it to two and run it now my pipeline will run okay you can see my job is running let's wait for a moment right now my command line is running now it's unsuccessfully you can see now i printed to echo value 2 okay this way you can pass a string uh, sorry the number parameter as well all right so this these two are very basic stuff i hope you understood let's see a different one like let's try to pass something called an object okay um object is uh, no it, it is again a, a type of parameter where you can uh, run it across multiple values okay for example here we use a multi string in our previous example right what happened in multi string is you either selected azure you either selected devops right what if you wanna run it against all the values okay so say example you have a mul you have multiple uh, environments what if you want to run it against all the environment so what in those kind of situation you can use something like an object okay um, let me call it as object and default is like we can remove this since it is an object you don't need this values what you can do is first you can create azure let me pass on few values let's say devops let me call it as git all right this should be enough now you can see under steps okay what we can do is we can pass something called um like imagine a loop okay so imagine a loop how you iterate through each and every element right so similarly what you can do is you can iterate through each and every value in a para in your parameter okay so how to do this is like let me dollar sign for each for each value in parameters dot technology right technology for each value in parameter dot technology need to provide a colon and then i will provide a script let me just print it like like echo dollar value all right so what i did is it's similar to a uh, for loop okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to go through each and every value that is present in my parameter and just printing it all right so that's all what i'm doing so now let me save this
and let me run this again now you can see right under technology parameter we have multiple values we had we have azure devops and git in our earlier multi string we had a drop down where we had an option to select it across multiple values whereas with respect to object parameter you can run it against all the values that you have provided so now let me run this now my job is running one change you can note here is let me wait for a moment you can see it will run three times okay for each and every parameter now if you note here like we have in our earlier examples command line executed only once whereas here the command line executed thrice right you can see it ran for azure parameter it ran for devops parameter it ran for git one git parameter too okay so this way you can run uh, it against multiple values in a parameter okay this might be a very useful parameter in your real time projects like when you want to run it against um, you know different values based on your project requirement or maybe run it across different environments you know um, this might be very much useful okay so these uh, these are very high level basic parameters which you regularly use i uh, know right it, it would be a very lengthy process if i have to explain each and every uh, data type like you can refer to the uh, microsoft documentation and try it on your own and see if you have any queries regarding any other data type you can let me know in the comment section i will try to address that um you know it might be you know few are very straightforward few might be a little confusing for example boolean might be very easy whereas understanding step step list job list deployment deployment list and all are little tricky but you know for now i will try to uh, you know keep this video very simple to make you understand how a parameter works in azure pipeline going forward we'll try to dig in deeper to understand all these data types in detail better all right so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you